Hey guys, welcome back to Bulletproof Technologies. Today, we're going to be making a light switch panel for inside my 97 Jeep Cherokee. The only problem is, I want to make it up here, and we're going to tackle that job today. I made a cutout earlier of uh, the form to go right up here. And at the bottom here, I'm going to have my CB radio attached. So, switch panel up here, CB down here. We'll see if we can create this. cutout you see here is the one I measured up and kind of guessed inside the cab. Right now I'm just laying down on the steel to use paint marker to line it up so I can cut it out with the plasma cutter. Lately we've been having problems with the plasma cutter. Andrews had to order some consumables for it. The special drag shield that uh, Hypertherm offers is kind of worn out so I had a couple problems plasma cutting accidentally one time gouge the steel instead of cut it so I had to go back over it. I really don't have an actual dimension size I went off of. I kind of just guessed. Took a piece of cardboard and just kind of lined it up how I liked it and with the roof line. I found out when I kind of did the roof of the Jeep that it's really not curved. It's more of a straight angle. Uh, there is a slight curve to it, but once you once I'm gonna get that up there, you won't notice it. This is where I accidentally didn't cut through the steel. I was just gouging it out. I didn't notice until after I was done cutting through it. Found kind of a little mistake there. All right, guys, I got them all made up, cut out. There we go, right up here like that, and like that. So get measured out figure out our width and we'll go from there. About halfway. Right here I'm actually just taking my metal template marking out where the bottom of it is because I'm actually going to score it so I can bend it to the angle. And it just so happens that I cut the end flush with the other end that Andrew cut out of this piece and it happened to line up just right to the top. I didn't measure it at all, I was kind of surprised, but all I did was cut uh, about half of it away from where I had to bend it, put it down on the table, just took some force to push it down so that way it would kind of make a perfect angle for it so I didn't have to weld that part together. Right here is uh, where I'm bedding the metal back. I did it because it would give a nicer finish and then I didn't have to fill in another weld. Personally, in my preferences, I enjoyed doing it and it made the look, project look a lot better. Once I got it all finished, I just started tacking the inside and then on the outside I tacked around and then filled in between the tacks uh, ground it down and everything else I didn't feel a need to actually show this part of the video um, but you can see in the end how well it actually turned out hey guys we got this all welded up and everything else grinded down and now that's gonna go right up there it's going to have a little bit of a gap up top, but once I get it all situated, it should go ma mainly away. But in part two, I'm going to put all the switches in, wire it all up, paint it, and everything up. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel for any other additional information or news that we have coming out. And see you in the next part.